So now we're getting into the real meat of factoring. We've gone over GCFs and factor by grouping, but now we're getting into trinomials, factoring trinomials. And in this section, I want to go over something that's called the big X. And it's not necessary to use the big X, but I think it's a pretty helpful tool. And what I have here is a trinomial. Okay, that's this guy. It's a trinomial because it has three terms. A trinomial, which is 1x squared minus 3x minus 18. And I want to turn that into two parentheses times each other. And what we're going to do here for the big X is I've drawn the X, and we're going to fill in parts of the X with numbers from the polynomial. So as you can see here, the top of the X is A times C. So A times C is negative 18 times 1. That means, um, hold on, I'm a little tired of red ink. That means negative 18 is going to go right here. Okay. Now the bottom of X is B. Okay, so which term is in the middle? That's B, that's negative three. Okay, so we've got a negative three down here. And the sides, here's where you have to do a little thinking. The sides of the big X have to multiply to the top number, but add up to the bottom. So we have to think about what kind of numbers add up, to, uh, multiply to negative 18. And if you're new at this, go ahead and make yourself a little factor table. What multiplies to negative 18? Well, um, negative 18 and one, or negative nine and two, or negative six and three. Uh, three, six, oh, I think, uh, then our next one is negative three and six, negative two and nine, and negative one and 18. Those are our choices. Now, which one of these choices adds up to negative three? You can play guess and check for a while, but it is this one right here. Negative six plus three equals negative three. So I'm going to take those numbers and put them on the sides of the big X. Negative six and positive three, and we're done. At this point, all you have to do is put those numbers into these parentheses. We're always going to have an X here at the beginning, I didn't mention that, but if you look at this, you'll see why. These two numbers, these two variables have to multiply to X squared, so that means it's X and X. But the trickier part of factoring is usually finding these numbers right here, this negative six and the positive three. So those you simply put into the parentheses, and we're done, that's it. This is your answer of a factored form of that polynomial. Okay, so let's move on to a different example. This is going to have another trinomial, but at first it's going to look pretty ugly, like negative uh, 4x squared plus 16x plus 20. And before you jump right into doing this with the big X, I always want you to, to do this first. Always, always, always check for GCFs. That's step like zero anytime you're factoring, because if you find a GCF, everything gets easier. So I can see that there's a GCF in here, right? Four. And in fact, I'm going to pull out a negative four, because I personally hate having a negative in front of the x squared. It makes the factoring harder for me. Maybe it's my own <laughs> mental problems, but uh, I think it'll be easier if we just factor out a negative four. And here's what we have. x squared minus 4x minus 5. That's what we're really trying to factor. That negative four is just a factor out front. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a big X again and work through this. Here's my big X. I'm gonna take uh, negative five times one, that goes up here. I'm gonna take B, the negative four, that goes down here. And then I'm looking for two numbers that add up to negative four, but multiply to negative five. So things that multiply to negative five are not in big supply, right? It's, here's negative five. Our choices are negative 5 and 1, or negative 1 and 5. And one of those adds up to negative 4. I think you can see it's going to be negative 5 and positive 1. So the factored form of this polynomial is simply x here. There's another x there. And let's get those side terms, minus 5 and plus 1. And don't forget that negative 4 from the beginning. Okay, so here we go. That's our fully factored form.